Welcome back to the first car boot of 2020, 2023. It's minus three. And we're going to a car boot, the first one of the year. It's five to six, five to six, five to six minus three. First car boot of the year. What more can I say? We're back on it. We are back on the car boots car boots on it's well it's cold but dry the ground will be dry and hard so yeah what we're we gonna find don't know will it be big don't know um but yeah car boot videos are back baby oh let's get me change man haven't done this in a while it's been Building up, yes. More, oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Remember them days where I was just dropping the twenty pound notes for a one pound item. Yes. Any more? Any more? Any more for any more? Couple more. Yes. Oh. It's minus three. Oh god, the ground is frozen. Let's try right, download the app. Oh. I'm sticking with the old hair bag. I could have probably done a trolley today. Oh, right, it's okay, thanks. Two and three. Do eight quid for them two? It's got to be a fiver. Yeah. Fiver. <coughs> yeah, what? Right. Thank you. Cheers. How much is uh, this set, mate? 
How much is? How much is the uh, the set? The orange, oh. the orange set. Well, we're looking at fifty quid for the whole lot. Oh, 50, fifty for the lot. Okay. Yeah. Set like that. Um, Twelve pound. Yes. Six for that. Yeah. The all sells. I was mainly looking at this. Yeah. Uh, the orange, the orange sets like that, 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 that. Would you do thirty for the thirty for these bits? Where are you going? Uh, up to the. Oh, that one. So that's that's. So that's good. So you that's see, the orange and yellow bit. Yeah. And then that's salt and pepper or something on it. Right. Yes. Yeah, would you do 30 quid? 35 that much. You got the lids. There's no brakes on the, on yeah. the clips either. There's no cracks in any yeah. lids. Alright, oh, yeah, I'll do 35. Yeah. yeah. Chuck bag? I'll chuck it in there, yeah. I'll chuck it in there, yeah. I've got a big IQ on a few. Um, yeah, if you've got an idea one, that'll be handy, yeah. Oh, you right? Fiver. Fiver. You yeah, you're right. You're yeah, I'll take that. How much is mate? That? Um, uh, three quid or two. Uh, size 43. I'm not sure what's that size. I can't think what size that is. They're quite clean and tidy, just icy. Yeah. Three quid, three quid or two though. Oh, I was just after the one. <laughs> one? I know a one-legged. Uh, huh? I know a one-legged roller skater. You don't, do you? <laughs> no, it's missing a wheel, though. Huh? Isn't it? It's missing a wheel. That should be right. Well, yeah, three, a wheel, missing wheel. It's missing that. Really? Yeah, right, yeah. I'll do three quid on them. That's, that's all right. <coughs> missing one of these, is it? Yeah. Yeah. But you can you can get wheels. It's not a problem. I want to get rid of it. It's all from the house clearance. So oh, okay. Once it's gone, it's gone. Uh, found a pair, six to five the gloves. Medium large, extra large in there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, one, two. There you are, three quick. Okay. So, thank Cheers, you. Thank you, boss. Cheers. Thank you. Miss O D F Frogat Frogaty.
How much are the photos? few photos of Sarah's wedding for you to keep. <laughs> Here they are. Doreen. Oh, they're a bit oh, fat. Fat. Are you next to me? Okay, okay, okay. How much of the boat? The uh, how much of this boat? How much of the boat? Uh, tenner. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Good tenner. Okay. That's a bit frozen. <laughs> To, yeah, I'm going to try to break it out. It's yeah. the uh, steering wheel. How much are these, please? 50 pounds each. 50 pounds each. Yeah, I'll take them, please. In the shop obviously what a day I haven't said that for a while. what a day cold got there at minus three when I left it was minus two so it warmed up a little bit um got some really good stuff had to pay up for some stuff to be expected I mean this time of year you're gonna get more dealers than anything more like hardcore dealers they'll just do it in any weather um so yeah um some stuff was more than others, but got you know to be getting this amount of stuff this time of year is amazing. Um, yeah, e-boot doesn't matter the weather conditions. If there was a nuclear holocaust, I always say e-boot would still be on. And um, we've got a lot to talk about in this video, a lot to talk about. So I'm going to need some help. Um, 
Barry's got the list, so Barry, what's first? Calendar, birthdays, says here. Can't read your writing anyway. Thank you. Um, you might have noticed there is some new wall art on the wall, obviously, so don't worry. I'm not as um, big-headed enough to go ahead and make my own calendar, the Brum Reseller Calendar 2023. I didn't make this. It was um, created for me for my birthday from um, reseller friends and subscribers of the channel. Um, and I thought, you know what? What can I do with it? And I come up with an idea. What I'm going to do, if you can comment on this video, and if you, you know, if you see, it won't. It doesn't have to be just on this video. It'll be like an, a recurring theme, so you can comment on future videos. Um, let me know when your birthday is, and I'll add it to the calendar, and I'll give you a shout out for free, no cost. So, yeah, just comment down below the date of your birth, and when I come to do a video, I'll see whose birthdays it's been. I mean, if, if you want to put your age, you can put your age, you know. I know not a lot, a lot of people like giving away their ages, but if you want to put your age, you can do. And, um, yeah, I'll give you a shout out. I mean, if, if you want to go as far as giving your whole families, you know, if you've got six kids and you want to say, Caden's on the 26th of April, it's Jaden's on the 23rd of March, that's okay as well, you know, you know. Don't mind. Um, I mean, there's obviously going to be, a, you know, if you've got eight kids, I mean, you know, <laughs> it's a bit much, but yeah. The Brum Reseller Calendar 2023. No previews. This will be going throughout the year. No previews. Also, um, for the people that comment on this video, there is some merch, which is free merch, stuff that I give away for free. Um, they actually made two of these. So I'm gonna give one away to a subscriber who comments down below with their birthday. And uh, again, like I'm not gonna give you any previews of January, February, March. You will have to see how it goes throughout the year. Some pictures are better than other. Obviously this is my favorite. Um, and yeah, why not? Let's start the video off with a bang. 2023 off with a bang. Next up, Barry. Sea urchins. Thank you, cheers. Um, the next up is a band called the Sea Urchins. Now, if you would have asked me a year ago, well, even six months ago, if you would have said, uh, "Who uh, un, have you heard of the band called the Sea Urchins? I would have said no. Um, however, I know of them now because one of the band members shops in music is the answer. Um, the Sea Urchins were a band that were created in the 90s, proper, proper indie, alternative band they were signed to a label called sarah again if you come across anything on the sarah label it's gonna be expensive um for people that are into their records you would know that i would expect but yeah i've only ever had one out of one record on the sarah label and i got like a hundred pound for it so this guy is in the band called the sea urchins and he's, as far as I'm aware, he's only been into the shop twice, maybe once last year, maybe twice last year, but he come in in the week. He says, um, I've seen your video about uh, you, you can flatten records. I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, flatten records. Um, so I've got a machine, if you didn't know, I've got a machine that um, uses a more scientific approach of flattening a record. Um, it protects the grooves heats the inside of the record and the outside of the record. And I reckon 
about depending on the warp I reckon it works about 75% of the time maybe 85% of the time um, and he brought in he brought in three records to flatten now the records he's brought into flatten is amazing because I'll show you um, he's had his album re-released which is this the sea urchins stardust this is the first ever reissue of the legendary compilation collecting all of their Sarah releases, including two NMA singles of the week. Um, if you want to li have a listen to them on, U on, on YouTube, or if I can find what if I can remember, I'll put a link to one of their videos or the, one of their songs below. Um, they were one of these bands that look at this 17th of Jan 1992. Um, they they only released a, a one album and then broke up, but they they've gone down in like folk folklore, really good. I mean, even their CDs are expensive. Um, I think one of their one of their singles minimum hundred pounds on on Discogs minimum. So their album's been re released, and he come in with two well. The album promo he had it last year and at some point during its time in in his house the sun has got to it and it warped them it warped the promo and he was on the verge of throwing them out until he seen um my video and uh he come down to the shop asking if we can fix them um, I think I got a before, before this was flattened video, um, just showing you the, the kind of state that it was in. Um, and I'll show you the state it is now in. Hold on a sec. Let me just turn it on. I want, I want to just listen to some of the music as well, because it's a... It's a Guys, I want, 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 baby, we want, want, want. I think you're singing again. She had done stuff the trip, trip, trip. Guys, I want, 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 all night long. Let me see that thong, baby. That thong, 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 thong. So, as you can see, you might have heard that before. I'm not too sure, but as you can see, flat as a pancake. Now, I think he said he's only got two of these. Now, if you consider an original Sea Urchins album single, minimum 500, you can get 250 for some. That is, there's only two of them. That's a lot of money. I wouldn't like to put a price on it. I mean, they were, they were practically worthless because of the warps. We've managed to fix them. Um, yeah, so that is that. And it's just... You know, amazing that, you know, having the shop, having someone from a, a band. I'm just waiting for, like, you know, a, a met, like, a mega star to come in. Like, uh, what's his name? Um, um, Robert Plant. Is it Robert Plant? Yeah, he doesn't live too far. He's in Wolverhampton, way, but... It's going to happen. I'm manifesting it. It's going to happen. Um, so, yeah. Maybe. I might get some sign stuff off off, uh, off him. The guy the guy who come in. Uh, his name is Robert Cooksey. Yeah. I think that was right. Let's make sure. Yeah, Robert. It was Robert. Yeah, so just really good like you know just chatting to someone um the the they're trying to get back together very difficult you know they split up in a under a storm so you know even however many years it's been it's very difficult anyway next up barry next up reseller summit yeah um i've had a lot of <laughs> I've had a lot of questions, a lot of um, 
people asking me. They've seen my name on a, a poster advertised as the reseller summit. And just to clear up my thoughts on it and just to let you know uh, my view on it. Um, I was asked to do it. I was like, yeah, no problem. You know, I I always enjoy a reseller meetup. I was at the Hitching meetup uh, last week, which is why there was no video out last week. But yeah, I went to the Hitching meetup, met some big names, Nick and Andrea Hills, uh, Money Mental, not not so much of a big name, but <laughs> um, married to reselling were there. Uh, DB uh, Damien DB Resells, uh, Tap Peddler and his brother, and Ali, uh, Carla, Lex. Now my memory's a bit more faded, if so. I forgot to uh, mention anyone else. There was a lot more than that there, but that was free. It cost me to go, obviously, hotel, fuel, but I met a lot of people there, shared stories, told them, you know, you speak about best practices, what you're into, what you want to get into, da 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 da. Um, it was free. And I agreed to do it thinking it was going to be free. Um, then I seen there was a cost and I felt very uncomfortable with that. Uh, you know, I, I don't like, I don't like, um, you know, the, the videos are free. I don't like, you know, charging people for, for my advice. I'm not the best person to be speaking about reselling, in my opinion. There are way better people than me and they're, they are, we don't, no one knows about them. Nobody knows about them because they don't put out on YouTube what they do. Um, you would only come across them if, you know, if you're at a car boot and you're like, or, or you're sitting their account or somewhere like that. I just thought, I'm very uncomfortable charging someone. I know there's a lot more people on the bill, um, but it's not for me, unfortunately. And, um, you know, all the best to, you know, I've got nothing against someone trying to give that thing a go. But, um, you know, if anyone wants my advice, anyone wants to speak to me, you know, Instagram's open, they can come to the shop, get your pin on the map, um, you know, chat about reselling, chat about what I've, how I've managed to get to where I am. Um, you don't need to charge to come and see me. So for that reason, I'm out. Next, shop update. I'm a done, I'm a finished now. Shop update. The shop has been crazy. Uh, I mean, there was a point yesterday you couldn't move. All I kept hearing was, "Excuse me, can I just get past? Excuse, excuse me, um, can I just get past? Um, oh, sorry, can, I'm, I'm in your way. Sorry, can I can I just look in? Honestly." There must have been about 15 to 20 people in the shop, all in one go, about half one. Like, I thought, bloody hell, this is busy. And then a whole family of six people would come in. I was like, what the hell the hell's going on? Vinyl is back. The other thing is, I'm thinking like, January is gonna be tough, you know, it's hard to predict. I can only go off my last year's sales, and as it stands, I'm up on last year's sales. Um, so at least now I've got that data to compare where we're at, and it's up. The other thing is the stock keeps coming in. Bags of records, bags of records. You know, I think I'm, <laughs> I'm in the middle of one deal, someone else will come in saying, you buy records? Like, uh, yeah, I buy records. I'm just trying to buy some here. Um, stock has been flowing in and the good thing is it's been selling so the money I'm spending is coming back pretty quick you know with more on top um, 
we've added some dividers. So if someone comes in and said, uh, you got any Paul Anker? Yeah, I've got Paul Anker. You got any uh, Beach Boys? Yeah, I've got Beach Boys. You got any Elton John? Now, this is, this is what confuses me sometimes because Elton John is in the J section where, personally, I put it in the E section. You got any Elton John? I've I've got Elton John, just not in that. Unless unless oh it is here. You see what I mean? Needs a bit needs a bit of um a bit of a a tidy up and and exactly how how this is going. But yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah, dividers and the the only thing that's annoying me a little bit is usually this is my. Uh, place to put things to show you what's sold and uh, I can't luckily there hasn't been much sold this week so as with tradition as we are talking about what's sold here we are um, a guy come into the shop and uh, he said do you buy record decks and I was like yeah I buy record decks but um, he had a boot full of stuff and um he said, well, what? I said, he says, I've got an Xbox, I've got a PS3, I've got a, a mixer, and um, I've got some old vintage board games. And I said, I've come to a deal. This was in the deal, the mixer. Uh, and that sold for 34 99 not long after I listed it. So, and he was open. One of the decks didn't work. One did work. Um, one The PS3 didn't work, but it was, it was a fat version. So it's like, Worth about 40 quid. So, yeah. I'm going to do that more this year. I do get offered uh, a lot of stuff in the shop. Whether it's stolen or not, I don't know. But, um, you know, you kind of get to know who's being genuine. You know, if an old fella comes in who, if a relative in his family's just died and he's got loads of, like, old decks or not, an old amp and stuff like that, usually I'll be like... I don't have the room, but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna accept more deals this year because I'm turning money away. Definitely, my pr problem is testing it. I've got a fear of electricity and electronics, and oh, just something hap something happened to me when I was younger. I wasn't like put on like an electrocution rack. It was just I put my finger into a plug socket. Anyway. Um, record. Yeah, the only thing is left is records and a CD. This CD sold fifteen pounds. That that was a guy come into the shop with a bag of CDs. I think he got them from a car boot, um, and I bought a bag off him. But yeah, that that's taken a while to sell. But fifteen quid, I'll take that. Um, Millionaire hippies. I am the music. Um, that was a tenner. Steve Miller band. Greatest hits, 11. So I've done a deal on this. So it's Steve Miliband and, hold on, BG's Greatest Hits, 20 quid for them to. Charlie Simpson, Long Road Home, on red vinyl. I'm not going to get it out. Red vinyl, £70. I had it on for 100 took an offer of 70 Uh BG, so I'd... These were going for £25. It was the time where... Uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers had released a Record Store Day version of Bee Gees and they'd used this exact uh, record cover to advertise the Red Hot Chili Peppers version of, and they'd done all uh, Bee Gees covers. So at the time of that, that was these were flying out at 25 quid. I've got like five in stock and they weren't selling so I had to check what they're going for now. £15 seems to be the price. Uh, I've dropped it to fifteen, and two. Not this is the second one that I've sold since I've done that. So these are these are moving again, and Cliff Richard private collection, four ninety nine or something. You know, even if I make twenty pence off that, you know, it's fine. That's the only way I'm going to sell a Cliff Richard record is eBay. So if I can make thirty, twenty pence, fifty pence, fine, no problem. So yeah, another thing. And I could have put this in a in a video saying, 
oh my God, you would not believe what has happened. And I'd get, you know, people be clicking going, oh, wonder what's happened. I might as well just add it to this video. The pizza boxes, AKA plain cardboard boxes, 12 by 12 by two plain white cardboard boxes that I've been buying for years. It probably is years now, two to three years. They have been discontinued. I went to buy some. I went to buy some seven inch and they were like out of stock. Not, not unusual for that to happen. They'll be back in stock. Went back a week later, not in stock. I was like, okay. Wonder what's going on there. I did have some other little bits and pieces I can send seven inch in, so it wasn't like a major issue. I was coming to them a final stock of the 12 by the, the plain white book plain white cardboard boxes, aka pizza boxes. It's come to the end of them. Thought I better buy some more. Went on to the listing. Out of stock. I was like, no. And again, not unusual for it to happen. Left it a couple of days, checked again, nothing there. So I phoned the company. Um, they were a business, they were a business on eBay. We got the telephone number on there, phoned them. He says, oh, uh, we've discontinued them. I was like, no way. What am I gonna do? They're, they're like imperative to my business. I need them. He says, we've had about 20 emails and phone calls asking the same thing. Where are they? What's happening? Um, he says, the problem is we have to order a minimum of 5,000 and it's 10 pallets worth, which 10 pallets, I don't know how big their warehouse is, is a lot of room. But the problem is there's a demand for them. So apparently they're bringing them back. When? I don't know. But what he said to me, I've got some 14 by 14 by two. Now they're a slight, well, they are too big for, for what, what I need to be doing on a permanent basis. But they'll do for now. So he's, he done me a deal. They said that he said they were B grade. There's a few bits and bobs and problems with them, but I can fix them just a bit, bit of tape. Um, 40 pound for 140 free shipping. I was like, I'll take them for now. Hopefully you'll sort your problems out and I'll be able to order some more in the future. Can't have that. They can't have that. Anyway, what did I pick up? As with tradition, well, it's not, you know, I don't really normally say this at this point, but anyway, as with tradition. Look at this. Some of it I actually didn't film because my battery ran out and I thought, oh, I'll just go around. But I put all the, everything in my car. I didn't really expect to pick up any more, anything else. Went around for some sloppy seconds. And I picked up more than I picked up, well, probably in the first time, so... um. Whether you would see this or not, because it's pitch black. In fact, the whole video is going to be pitch black, to be honest. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pieces of orange vintage Tupperware for thirty-five quid. And very nicely, he threw in um a random lid, which um is a bit bent and has no uh matching relation to any of these but I, I appreciate it still um 35 quid i did have a quick check um because I, you know when you're spending that sort of money i'm not i don't want to spend it lightly i did have a quick check and i think you can get 25 to 30 just for them so i'm thinking as a still as a whole set potentially Eighty pound with offers. I need to check eBay, but it is proper branded Tupperware. So yeah, I don't know how many full set. Well, it's not probably not full set, but I don't know how many sets are, are on e are on eBay when you get so much. Second, next up, this is possibly one of my favourite pickups of the day. Like a cast iron. Night with a head that opens and it's a fire guard, but I've never seen a fire guard like that. 
there's the bits that hold but yeah unfortunately it doesn't come with the bits but any bits can go in there so if you wanted to upgrade your fire guard to one that's a a knight guarding the uh fire then you can add your own bit so yeah like that uh that was a pound flask it did have a brand vaco vacuum jug quid yeah take that all day um then a couple of uh soup bowl mugs just standard 150 i think i've got enough for a bundle oh, excuse me a stack um so i'll do that some point this week some big box pc games again you don't really see these anymore I took a punt on these. It wasn't shifting on five quid a box. I was like, oh, okay. I'll, th I'll go with the ones I think that might be uh, the most valuable. I might but stack these together as it's 2023 year of the stack. And well, I don't know if two equates to a stack. It's, it's, it's scraping the barrel a bit. Uh, yeah, paid a tenner. There's not much, I don't think, in them. But anyway, I'll have a go. Uh, a tenner for the Playmobil pirate ship. I think twenty. I think that they're, they're worth thirty-five, and I might have some Playmobil bits to add to that. But I think that will get thirty-five quid. Vintage skates, Phantoms. They were. Turn on that. That's that should be right. On. But yeah, missing a wheel doesn't make too much of a difference, really. Uh, yeah, good size. So I'm thinking 35, 30, 35, something like that. Uh, vintage Christmas tree light. I think the vintage. God, yeah, I think. Does it say? Yeah, I think they are vintage. I mean, look at them. They don't make them like this anymore, I tell you. I've got to plug it in, and that's something I really hate doing, but, you know, I might as well. While you're here... Oh, let me just come around here. I mean, they've been in the throat. Well, actually, I got there quite quick, so they haven't been out too long. They're either going to work, or they're going to blow up in my face. Let's, let's see how we get on. Hey, some of the lights have gone, but yeah, vintage, isn't it? That's good. One of them's got a European plug, uh, so that'll be good for GSP, I suppose. Um, and, and so there were a pound, a pound a pair. I think there's three there. Well, I can only see one other plug, so. Now they've got done over there, but three quid for that, and then a pound for these vintage. Like I don't know, I don't know if they're glass. I don't, I don't think they're like. But the proper, the vintage style Christmas tree decorations. Pound for the whole bag. Oh yeah, take that. Uh, anything else? Um, oh yeah, this massive rugby. I didn't get this in the video. This is when I was going around for sloppy seconds. Look at that catwalk now. So, this rug is massive. I was thinking about selling it, but it does cover the whole runway of the shop, I, well, and AKA catwalk. So I might sell the one that's under it because I do like this one. It does a better job. 15 pound. I think I could get 100 for that online, on eBay. But, uh, you know, I think, it, I think it makes the shop look better. So I'm always up for improving the shop. And last but not least, some records, which, again, I didn't video. Um, I, I missed out on, I think I missed out on an absolute banging deal. Because when I got there, there was a guy already there, and I spotted Rock Albums one pound. I was like, "Oh my god, what was there?" However, 
I just picked up stuff, you know. I could eBay that. I think I've sold that before. Status quo. I mean, nothing, you know, nothing major. Heavy metal album compilation, volume four pound. You know, I'm gonna go for it. And then this. This was left, and I think I know the reason why he's left it, and it's because this is like a fold-out sleeve. I've only realised this when I got back to the car and to figure out what it was. Um, seasoned record buyers would absolutely know what this is. So, basically, this is a fold-out sleeve, but there should be another one, two, and three attached to there. It's... it's 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 about being uh, it's fell off basically. Records are in good condition. Hawkwind, the Space Ritual. So yeah, it should have some inners as well. It, there's no these aren't the correct inners, but for a quid, you know I could get I think I'd get twenty quid for that quite easily. Don't see much Hawkwind, and especially for a quid. Not in the best condition, but the records are in a good condition, so. Yeah, there we are. What a bloody long video. I've been talking for 35 minutes. But, you know, it's the first one, so, you know, coming back with a bang. Fashion show coming up.